I promise you, everything I'm about to tell you in this series is stuff I wish I was told. But sadly, I wasn't. Okay, I'm dramatic. Anyways. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. My name is Electra, and you're watching the series What I Needed to Hear. Okay, so basically, in this series, I'm gonna be giving advice like videos, motivational type videos that I wish I heard at a certain period of my life. You know what I mean? So, hopefully, my videos can help any of you young adults, any of you children, maybe even people older than me. I don't know. I just hope it helps someone because I promise you, everything I'm about to tell you in this series is stuff I wish I was told. But sadly, I wasn't. Okay, I'm dramatic. Anyways. As you can see by the title, today's topic is gonna be about boundaries, okay? I feel like we're just gonna hop right into it. I feel like it is so important to set clear boundaries. It's also important to not negotiate your boundaries, and it is also important to know the reason why you set those boundaries in the first place. Ah! I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this. Okay, so boom, let's talk about why you should be creating boundaries in the first place. One. Boundaries teach people how to treat you. Boundaries reaffirm to yourself how you treat yourself. It is important to create boundaries in relationships, in friendships, in regards to your relationship with food, your relationship with alcohol, your relationship with recreational drugs, I don't know. But boundaries are required for pretty much every single part of your life. So let's talk about negotiating boundaries, okay? So I'm gonna give an example of myself. I used to negotiate my boundaries when it came to drinking and wine. For example, some days I'd be like, you know what, I'm quitting alcohol, I'm never drinking alcohol again, or I'm not drinking alcohol for six months, da -da -da -da. But as soon as someone offers me some free wine, I say maybe, <laughs> maybe I could quit tomorrow. <laughs> Wrong. That is flimsy boundaries by me prancing around, telling everyone, I'm not drinking alcohol. And then people seeing me drink alcohol. My words are not gonna carry that much value because then they're gonna be like, girl, she says she's not gonna drink every day and she always drink. Forget what she says. You know what I'm saying? And not just with that, with people too. For example, example. If you're in the dating scene, all right, and you're a woman dealing with a guy, and you tell them, yeah, yeah uh, I'm, I'm abstinent, abstinent or I'm, I'm celibate. I'm, I'm like, like not, not having ass aches. Ass aches. Oh. Right, and then, like a man, they are probably going to try to get in your pants. You know what I'm saying? And let's just say you tell them that on the first date, and on the second date, you already open your legs. They are going to lose respect for you, and they're going to think, oh, listen, this girl just talks to talk. She not serious. She doesn't have proper <gasps> boundaries. Okay, and when you have flimsy boundaries, it's... It, 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 it opens, how should I, como se dice, it makes room for people to walk all over you. And that is something we don't want. <laughs> I just realized as I got older, I, I really did have film, flimsy boundaries in my dating life, in regards to drinking, in regards to eating, in regards to spending money. And life wasn't as organized or as, I wasn't getting as respected as I could have been had I said, had I stood on business with my boundaries. You know what I'm saying? And it is totally okay to feel a little bit like, well, well I, don't I don't like when, when this person, person does this, but I don't want to think, think I'm mad at them, them or I don't, don't want to be, be too much. much blah, 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 blah. It's okay if you feel like that. But what I'm gonna need you to do is take off your, go take off your gosh darn diapers, okay? And you tell that person, hey, I don't like when you do this, or I, it hurt my feelings when you did that. Da, 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 da. And if they continue to do that, then you know, okay, I cannot trust this person. Cut them off, do whatever you gotta do. Or you can continue to allow that behavior and always feel like shit. <clears throat> Which one are you going to do? <laughs> okay. I feel like a quick way to tell if someone respects you is if you say, hey, I like when you do this, or I don't like when you do that, or don't do this again, or don't speak to me like this, da 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 and they actually listen 
Now you gotta understand, sometimes when we do things for a long time, it becomes like autopilot. So for some things, you might need to give people a little bit of time to like improve or to like respect those boundaries. But if it's something like, I don't like when you call my man, and then you keep calling her man, you, you're disrespectful, you don't care about their boundaries, and therefore you don't respect the relationship, you don't respect your friend, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? Another important thing that we have to remember in regards to boundaries is the reason why we're setting them. Because I feel like that is what's gonna make or break if we actually continue to stand on business in regards to our boundaries. So for example, let's just say, I say, oh, I don't wanna drink because, I'm gonna stop drinking because, it's, it's trendy, trendy and that's, that's what everybody's, everybody's doing. doing. As soon as you get offered a sangria, a free sangria, you might be a little, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's free. I mean, why not? Da, 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 and you might just drink. But if you say, you know what, my health really matters. If I continue to drink, um, I'm going to die tomorrow. What? <laughs> that's a strong enough reason for you to continue to stand firm in your decision to not drink. You feel me? Knowing the why is very important when it comes to your boundaries because when you have a strong why, you take your boundaries more serious. That in turn is gonna have people taking your words more serious because if you say, listen, I'm not drinking or I'm not smashing or I'm not gonna eat meat, da 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 and they continuously see you not drinking, not smashing, and not eating meat, they're gonna be like, wow, this person really is about their business that they stand on. So whenever you say something, your words carry that much more meaning because they see when you say something, Thing, you gon' do it. And when you do it, you, it's cause you probably said it. Let's talk about the negotiating of boundaries. So I was watching this video by Haley Gamba, and she was just giving an example of how girls act when they meet someone who's kind of ugly or not their type, and they're acting all posh. Uh, the girls not like the guy touch him, and he has to try extra hard to get the da 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 da. You know, versus when they meet a guy that they're super attracted to and then they kind of bend the rules for them. I feel like it is so important to not negotiate your boundaries with literally anyone, okay? So for example, something that I noticed in myself, I would let guys have more access to me or something like that when I thought they were really, really, really attractive or I'd let the really, really attractive guys not have to try hard because I'm just like, damn, you are really cute. But then that always backfired because then I always got disrespected. Then they always treated me like lesser than. Then they always treated me like I'm replaceable. Then they always treated me like, just in a way that I didn't want to be treated. And I noticed when I uphold my boundaries with the guys who I'm not really attracted to, they try harder. They put more effort in. They da 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 da. And it's like, why should I allow a cute guy to have more access than me than an ugly guy let's just say just because they're cute that doesn't even go a long way and that like literally repeatedly over and over it showed me when i drop my boundaries for these cute men they're just gonna take advantage people take advantage of people who lack boundaries if someone asks you for money all the time and you hate it right but then you're always like yeah here it is yeah here you go yeah da, 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 da. and you never say no they're gonna continue to ask because they know you're always gonna say yes that's a discussion you gotta have with yourself like are people taking advantage of you are you saying yes to too many things are you not saying no enough because i noticed that especially in the beginning of high school this one person would call me all the time and it would always be like a two hour conversation which is fine i guess but not every single day chat 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 two hour two hour you know what i'm saying and the the reason why they continue to call me and continue to drag on the conversation is because i continue to answer and continue to entertain i never said hey i gotta go or hey or just put my phone on D&D &D or whatever. I never set the boundary. So every single day she would call, every single day I'd answer, and every single day I'd feel like I wasted two hours of my life. But if it was now, I would just cut that short. I would put my phone on D&D, &D, put them on D&D, &D, do what I gotta do. Set that boundary so then eventually they just stop calling. The more you reinforce your boundaries, the more people will respect those said boundaries. And if they don't respect those said boundaries, you don't need them. The fuck, you don't need them. Having boundaries is not just about the other person or other people or your friends or relationship or whatever it's about yourself if you are trying to lose weight and you say you know what i want to go to the gym five times a week and i want to eat vegetables at least once a day 
If you tell yourself that, and then every single day you continue to do the opposite, you continue to stay at home instead of going to the gym, you continue to eat fast food instead of eating vegetables like you told yourself you would, you're gonna have, you're gonna start to lack trust in yourself. You're gonna have, start to have self doubt. What I've noticed is when I say, you know what, I'm gonna eat once a day. I'm gonna drink my water bottle once a day. And then I actually don't do it. I feel like, wow, I can't even, I can't even reach a small goal. What makes me think I'm going to reach my big goals? But as soon as I started doing it every single day, like I said I would, I feel more confident in myself. I feel more confident in my abilities. And this confidence is not just growing in regards to my water drinking or my gym going. It's growing in like areas like my career or my friendships. Like now that I've been achieving my goal with the water and achieving my goal with the eating once a day, I feel like, you know what? I could post a video once a week. I could really do it. The previous month before I was like, dang, I can't even post a video once a month i can't even drink my water once a day what makes me think i'm gonna do okay it was just a spiral there are just so many benefits to setting boundaries one you get respected more two you trust yourself more three you have more confidence in yourself uh four you're not really wasting your time and five you're only accepting what your standard is you know what i'm saying but yeah, that's a little conversation about boundaries that I wish somebody told me before. If I were to search for a video about boundaries, I wish I would have come upon this video telling me, set those boundaries and know why you're setting those boundaries. Don't negotiate for nobody because that's never gonna help you in the, in the end. Literally, you got this, okay? That's pretty much all I gotta say about boundaries. That has been a topic that has been on my mind for this past week because I've really been learning that it's time for me to set boundaries. It's time for me to get the respect I deserve. And it's time for me to achieve the goals that I've set in the pass you know what i mean if you like videos like this stay tuned every week because like i said i'm coming every week and i believe in myself okay yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe my name is electra and this has been the what i needed to hear series episode one <laughs> and i'll see you next week bye